Someone is asking, uh, do dynamic camber mounts need aftermarket coilover or can fit stock shocks? Um, all of our dynamic plus camber mounts, like uh, the one you see here, um, will work with a stock suspension. And if you haven't noticed, we're big fans of the stock um, shocks and struts from the factory. They're, they're quite good. Unlike uh, in the 80s, the shocks that cars came with were pretty crappy. In, in the Mark I, Mark II era, the stock suspensions were very wallowy and uh, they were pretty cheap shocks. Nowadays, a lot of these cars have MagRide or uh, the other adjustable shock technology from Bosch where the, the valving changes inside. I forget. DCC? Is that DCC? I think that's the... Um, some of the cars have that. Some of the cars have the MagRide. Th those are very good, high-quality shocks. Um, you know, better than... than what we've seen in the aftermarket in the past. Um, and so we always work to make our suspension components work around those factory stock shocks. Um, they have good dampening and they, they can deliver more performance than typically the, how the factory tunes the springs and the rest of the suspension. So, yeah, and then, and then they will work with any aftermarket uh, coilover that works with a factory right. style. Right. Top. Yeah, and we, I think we found, you know, especially on the US, um, market cars, a lot of these um, shock combos are actually a little over dampened for the springs that they end up setting yeah. up with on the in the U.S. market. Mm -hmm. um, so it's we you know generally you get a little better ride going to a slightly stiffer spring. That's right. That, yeah. you know, our, more optimized our, height. Our dynamic plus springs. You know, the feedback generally and and what we found is that uh, there's really no detriment to ride quality. In fact, the 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 cars you know the car gets less bouncy and, and less wallowy. And rides actually better, like how you'd want it to from the factory. So, 